Hey everyone, Nicola here, Remembrance Into The Light. I hope you're all well. Really interesting last couple of videos. If you've not already seen those, have a little check back on those. Went through the whole zodiac um, and, uh, and then I went into the connection with Earth, the Moon and the Sun. Now they are giving me that we want to connect to that of Mercury. Now, apparently we're in Mercury retrograde. Um, I really am not uh, an astrologist by any shape or form. I know that I'm a Cancerian and that's it. Um, um, but the codes that I bring forward for the zodiacs are that of the star systems when you hold a certain template. So I know that side of things. So you're like, well, what am I doing? Listening to Nicola then. Um, it's all about the connection to the star systems and the planets. That's what I'm all about. And the light codes will assist you to upgrade to move into that connection with it. And then you draw upon the planet and then you then assist yourself by helping yourself clear because we are linked to all of the planets. And it's really interesting the other day that my friend Inga actually sp spoke, and I'm sure it was Inga during a distant healing um, session, that we sort of spoke about that actually, that in through all time and space, we would have been all star systems. So when you're looking at the zodiac star codes, check out all of them. Don't just sort of look that say, oh, this is just for Cancerians. Check in with the transmissions within those and you'll help yourself also clear because there'll be elements of yourself that will be in different houses. I don't know what it means, but within different areas within your template, you would have elements of those um, star systems um, and the codes can assist you. So the reading part of it, the guidance will probably be more for that individual primary um uh, zodiac but do go check out all the other transmissions um so that you're not going to lose out on on those codes because there'll be certain traits within there that will be resonant um with you so if, if that's the case go adjust back on checking all of those so interesting connecting to the planets so there's going to be a new series with this with connecting to all of the planets so we've done the earth the sun and the moon we're going to do Mercury today then. Um, I'm excited. I also need to do some more um, Zodiacs um, for the rest of the uh, Zodiac uh, star signs as well. But they're coming in with Mercury today. And then I'll do some more of those wonderful, wonderful readings for you. So um, they want me to sit. Mm -hmm. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I've got a t-shirt on today, balanced flowing energy. Um, yes, and I am. I'm really feeling very good at the moment. However, for some of you, you may be feeling a little bit with the Mercury retrograde. It's all about really reeling it back and reeling it back into what is it? Um, my, that went really slow there on my um, my camera. So I don't know if that's sort of, um, what's happening there. <laughs> so I'm going to get on and uh, do what I've got to do. That's really interesting. Or whether it's a Wi-Fi issue. <laughs> Maybe it's my ego overthinking. But then I don't want to sort of uh, stop and start doing a video. So let's just get on with it, shall we? Okay. <laughs> it's just a glitch in the matrix, guys, I think we picked up on there. Or whether it was just a Wi-Fi issue. Um, okay, so Okay, so if you are new to my channel, I do witter on sometimes, so just fast forward it. Um, okay, also, I really love people when they work with my light codes to really embody it and bring it it into, I'm coming offline a bit, um, into a self-empowered state of mind, thank you, um, by moving your physical body and allowing yourself to fully embrace the codes and allowing it to flow through you and out. So if you do start getting a bit emotional, let it flow out of you. Sorry, I, I go offline and I can't talk English. Get my download, there you go. It is the war within that stops us with our mind, a conflict of mind, a perceived idea that of Mars, the war, 
planet, as I sort of was questioning that from Nicola perspective. But it is about the war within. Okay, thank you. Thank you. It's just about the war within. Thank you. Yeah. So within this now moment, from your perspective, look at the war within as we connect to the planet of that of Mercury. Retrograding is like a, a, a rewinding of the past now moments of the war within. Whether it is set within stone, within your now moment incarnation, or whether it is that of past now moments, of ancestral lines and past lives. Within us we see that there are traits, origins, points of start that bring us forward into our now and there is a projection from that very starting point. The seeding of an experience, shall we, shall we say. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to bring in some codes to assist you with releasing the wall within, the anger, anger, thank you, not of fear, no, it's pure anger, okay, thank you, so wall within and anger for past, past, present and lineage, thank you, bear with me guys, I'm just sort of bringing it all in. So connect with your own energy, set your intentions to let go of everything that no longer serves you through all time and space. And we're bringing in the energy and the connection to that of, to activate into that of the alliance of the alignment of that of the planet Mercury. Yeah, mamoko shaki ya tantoko wa shakite usi. So some template adjustment is needed first. Thank you. Clearing the way to align, to light weave you through all time and space into the planetary systems. To bring down and draw in that of the light of the anchoring of the planet of Mercury. The celestial being of all. that provides us with commitment to deal with challenges from emotional perspective. Thank you. So I'm just connecting to your energy, so draw your energy towards mine. And at the end of the transmission, we will release from each other's field. So I'm going deeper within the connection. Connect heart to heart as we weave our light through all time and space. To look at within that of the inner war. The torment of anger and non-forgiveness. Move into that with the planet to assist you. Connect to that of the sun and the moon, to anchor into that of the earth, as we light weave, as we are assisted by the planets, that we draw this down into our physical reality of being within this incarnation, within this now moment. So just anchor yourself into the earth, down to your feet, to your base chakra and allow yourself to align to that of the elements of air that we breathe within this planet, with that of the moon of the waters within, that of the connection to the fire within that of the sun and connect to that of the earth of that below our feet. As we entwine to the planets, we invite in that of Mercury. Draw in the planet of Mercury. 
to assist the heart to forgive the inner torment of being through all time and space. Allow yourself to visit those places of discontent within your life, the cycles and patterns within. Go deeper and deeper within to align to that of the original template of being, your birthright of being. To release, to be seen, to show what is held within the depths of knowing, within the subconscious mind of being. Let us see for us to release within from our own personal world. Our perspective for it to be released within this now moment with the codes as we align to the energies of the celestial beingness. Moving us into the sovereignty of our light template of originality. So we're really going deep into the heart. Drawing in and activating our joy within our heart, within this now moment and our forward on journey. Resetting into the original template of all that we are. That we are guided by our waters, our fire, our earth of physicality and our breath that is united throughout all time and space as we interconnect to all that we are within all dimensions back to that of oneness of Mother, Father, God, Creator of all that is. Give yourself permission now to let go. Deep set beliefs let go. Ama kratai kuatina forgiveness for all. Gian da de kuakai toka wa de shoko shakai kata. Gi toka lokan takit wa naka loko tait. Ko la ki wa gan da ka, ko la ko ka le kwa na, dan na ka lo ka to ko, ko la ka wa le kwa na, dan kwa la ko lo ka le, ko lo kan lo ko la ki, ko la ka wa ka e kti ta, ko la ka in kwa la ko la, dan no ko la ki wa ka, ko la ki wa ka e lo nga, Dan no ko la ki ko ki, ko la kai wa ki wa li, ko la kai wa ngai lo ka, ko lo ko la ki ya na. Dan no ko la kai ko la, ki wa kai lo ko la a. Dan no ko la ki ko la, ko la kai wa ngai lo e. Go deeper, a lo kai ko na la kai, ko la ngai lo ko la ki, ko la kai lo ka lo ka. Ko la ki wa kai lo ka, ko la ki kwa la ko lo, ko la ki wa kai la ka, ask for forgiveness, forgiveness of self and forgiveness of others. Ki an ko a ki e kwa kai wa kam, as forgiveness don't need not be, a la ki a ko la, for you are the divine, a la ki a ka lo ko, ko la ka lo ka an ko lo ko la ki e ko a, ki wa ka le ko e a na ki e na a. So we're deleting, dissolving all karmic spikes, all karmic loops. <sighs> Forgiving yourself. Thank you. Clearing your field, using the energy of that of Mercury, helping you heal consciously in your now moment assisting you with codes of light to enlighten the beingness of all that you are far beyond the mind rise up rise up rise up to all 
Alea înghiata o iu a ghiata a. Ia malui o a shangui rane o ngradi shangrado shangrai he wa ri a we mamu i mamu mam. Draw in the energy of the connectivity to all that you are with the focus of that of the planet of Mercury. There is within the distance that of Mars that may be influencing this transaction. Allow that energy to be experienced also. Please allow this all to enfold back into the now, into the physicality. So we feel that it has been expanded, but we are bringing it within. The focus point is now within. It is not outside of you. It's like Mercury is inside of you. It's inside your inner world, your inner multiverse. It sits within your solar plexus. This is a reflection of that within, but we perceive it to be out there. There is a fight that is within. There is a fight that it is within. And it is all that you have been. It is that shadow work that we work on so tirelessly, isn't it? And that sense of I forgive myself and the gratitude of the experience. But it is the movement of you knowing you do not need to be forgiven at all. For you are divine and you are only experiencing. It is that of that now moment that you now know and recognize from within you that it is all an experience and that it was all it is. The sense and the perception of that of forgiveness shall move from you so that you can rise into the knowing of your divinity. I've got a little baby in the corner over there and she's starting to wind. Um, so you might have heard her. I think she's picking up on all, all of her stuff, but she's come in. She's got a new template, so she's got no karma. <laughs> so she's all right. It's all us lot doing all our wonderful uh, shadow work. Um, Thank Thank you, thank you, thank you. I do hope those codes were really useful to to you. I just sort of felt like it was sort of like flashing back, flashing back, flashing back. Let me know in the comments below if you actually felt that you was going back through all time and space as you connected to those codes and my energy and that they were sort of showing me all past lives sort of flinging up, flinging up. But once you see it coming up from that subconscious understanding, then you can say this no longer serves me then that is then released within the system. So moving into that light and deleting it, dissolving it, it's never going to be deleted. It's always going to be in your records of experience. But just know, just absolutely know that everything is perfect in your now moment. Although I'm looking at my camera and it's looking a bit disjointed, so I do apologise if that's the case because I don't want to not upload this video for you all. Because the codes were so brilliant. There is always a reason, isn't there not? So I'm going to leave you there. Please check out all of my details below. It's nicolalight.com and all my online courses are on Starseed U. Uh, if you want to know more about your activated light language, I have an understanding light language course on there. All the links are below. And if you want to be an intuitive healer to heal others, there is also a course there that will assist you with your activated light language to help others. So we heal ourselves first and then we then come in to be service to others. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me. 
please subscribe, like and share and all that wonderful jazz. And please send me some information as I love hearing how these codes are helping and assisting you on your with your journey. Take care, everyone. Bye.